In this particular video, we are going to be looking at Gravistars, what they are, how they work and where in this vast universe can we find them. If this is your first time here and you want to learn more about space, black holes and all that space stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't have to miss anything space related. So let's start, shall we? First and foremost, I'd like to tell you that Gravistars are hypothetical. This means that Gravistars may exist, but until now, there's almost no evidence suggesting that Gravistars actually exist somewhere in our universe. Some people think that if something is hypothetical, it can't exist. Ever. Well, this simply isn't true. If something is hypothetical, it's just an idea which is not supported by enough proofs. Clearing this misapprehension about the word, we can now move on. Gravistars are related to black holes. So before giving you a direct explanation to what a Gravistar is, you should know some interesting history about black holes. Physicists in the 20th century were confused about black holes. Ever since the concept of black holes came forward, many paradoxes against black holes came forward as well. One of these widely popular paradoxes in the scientific community was the information paradox. This paradox was proposed by the world-renowned cosmologist Stephen William Hawking. Hawking's theory proposed that over time, a black hole would eventually evaporate away, leaving nothing behind. But this presented a problem for quantum mechanics, which says that nothing, including information, can ever be lost. Each and every cosmologist was moved by this paradox, and this made Hawking very, very famous. Hawking rose to fame by releasing more of his works. But the information paradox was not the only paradox against black holes. Because of the mysteriousness of black holes, many paradoxes are still unsolved. To resolve these paradoxes about black holes, some scientists thought that black holes aren't actually black holes as we know them. They think that black holes do not behave in the same way we think. Two scientists came forward and said that black holes aren't actually what they appear to be. What we think of as black holes are actually something called Gravistars. To explain it to you in an easy manner, Gravistars are simply black holes but with different behavior. While black holes have an event horizon beyond which not even light can escape, Gravistars are black holes which do not have an event horizon, meaning that in Gravistars, light can never get trapped. Instead, it would reflect back from the object, making it fully visible. Apart from that, the scientists who came forward with the idea of Gravistars have also said that when stars die, they collapse to a certain point, where gravity is so high that it transforms the star's matter into an entirely new phase. This phase of matter is not solid, gas, liquid or plasma. This Gravistar matter is similar to Bose-Einstein condensate. It is fascinating to think that stars like the Gravistars can create entirely new form of matter. The two scientists think that Gravistars are unbelievable and fascinating. Their whole hypothesis was that what we call black holes are actually Gravistars, which are more powerful than black holes. They do not have an event horizon, and Gravistars give birth to an entirely new form of matter, a form which is not yet found by humanity. I would like to advise you not to take anything I say in this video as facts. This is because Gravistars exist only in theories. They may not exist in actuality. We can't be so sure that Gravistars actually exist or not. No one can. Because who knows whether there's a Gravistar lurking somewhere waiting to be known. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the Theoretical Hub channel by clicking on this logo. I hope you learned something new. I'll keep bringing you these types of amazing space videos in this channel, so make sure you subscribe. Until then, peace out.